Hey guys, Gene here again, doing another tutorial for Mold 3D. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you guys quickly how to do a surface blending using Rhino when you're modeling jewelry. So what I have here is a bracelet and I have this surface here, which is most likely going to hold my stone or some sort of shape. And it's clearly in an off position. And I want to transition onto the bracelet that we have in our mandrel. So what I had done ahead of time was create the splitting between this surface here and this surface here. And what I'm going to do now is uh, select the surface that I had separated. And let's go ahead and just hide it for now. And we'll do the same thing here. I'll take uh, here over here I have my cutter. And th this surface can also act as another cutter. So what I'll do is select the surface. We'll type in split. We'll select the curve as a cutter and go ahead, ahead and hit enter. From here we can go ahead and select the surface and once again I will hide it. Okay and to begin the transition we can use a various number of tools but the best tool to use in this instance is the blend surface command. So let's go ahead and type in blend and just tab down until you see blend SRF. There you go. When you hit enter, it's going to ask you to select a segment of the first edge. So the rule is to pick close to the end of an edge and you want to make sure you click on the same location on the opposite end. So we'll go ahead and select close to this corner. Then transition your view to the other side and go ahead and select the same uh, end of the same corner and when you're done you can see in your command line it says press enter when done you can see that we have uh, a preview of what the transition will look like you can play with a number of things you could change your tangency to curvature which will give you more points to tweak uh, we're going to stick with tangency just for the time being if you want to play with these uh, tension points, you can slide these left and right. And you can see on my preview that it is changing. Same thing with here. But again, uh, if you change it, it might have some awkward effects. So please pay attention to the surface preview. What I want to do is go back and just type in 1. Hit the tab key and hit 1 again. And we're back to normal. We'll hit the preview button so you can see it uh, before you hit the execute button. So it looks like I'm happy with this transition. It looks like it didn't go into our surface mandrel. And you can see that it's very clean. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. We can preview the surface by going into perspective and changing it to rendered. And from here you can see that the transition is quite smooth. If I select the curve and hide it, take this curve here as well and hide it we can see that there are no obvious kinks in our surface okay so uh, that wraps it up for this little tutorial and once again I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one